Hello everyone, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Today I will show you how to add camera raw filter in Adobe Photoshop and how to fix it if it's not working. Now, as you can see, this is pretty much what it happens to a lot of people that are using even, you know, Adobe Photoshop 2019 and 20, right? Um, as you can see, you cannot use the camera raw filter because it's not available. So how can you fix this? So First of all, we have method one, which is to set file handling preference and image mode in Photoshop, right? Now to apply the camera raw filter to a 32-bit HDR image in Photoshop, make sure that 32-bit to 16 slash 8-bit option is enabled. To enable this option, you need to go to edit, preferences, and then file handling. Now in the file compatibility section of the preferences dialog, you can check the box labeled use Adobe camera raw to convert documents from 32-bit to 16-8-bit. Click OK and then you can choose either image, mode and then 8-bits channel or image and then mode and then 6-bits channel, right? Now, when you use Merge to HDR Pro option, Photoshop brings up the Camera Raw Filter dialog, make the desired adjustments and click OK. The resulting document in Photoshop is now either 8-bits channel or 16-bits channel. Now, you can use also Lightroom's built-in HDR feature as well. Uh, this is, again, you know, uh, something that you can use, right? Uh, as you can see, we recommend that you use Photo Merge uh, HDR instead of Edit in Merge to HDR Pro in Photoshop, right? Lightroom built-in HDR feature creates a Merge HDR DNG RAW file, can be tone mapped using standard RAW development controls in the development module. Now, you can also use Camera Raw's built-in Merge to HDR feature, you can have 32-bit HDR smart objects, which is not really recommended. For example, what I would do is I would just use this first method in Photoshop. I would definitely not download any files or um, stuff like that, right? But I would go and I would use this first method. If this method does not work, I would definitely contact Adobe support because they can help you out with the fix around or workaround for this specific problem. So if you have any questions, comment down below and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.